Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a closer look at mutual inductance. And in this case, we're going to take a look and see if mutual inductance works in both directions and if in both directions the mutual inductance is indeed the same. So this is what we saw in the previous video. We had two circuits. The circuit on the left had a current source. The circuit on the right simply had an inductor. And we noticed that the voltage across the inductor on the first circuit was simply equal to the self-inductance times the rate of change of the current re with respect to time in that first circuit. We then saw that the voltage across the inductor over here, which the, the voltage was caused by the mutual inductance between the two inductors, we see that the voltage was equal to the mutual inductance times the rate of change of the current in the first circuit with respect to time. But now we can turn things around. We can have the current source in the second circuit and no current source in the first circuit. Circuit. Notice we have the very two same inductors with the very same number of turns. Now we can say that the voltage across this inductor right here, and of course we can go like this, the voltage across this inductor, let's call it V sub 2, two and this would be V sub 1 right there. And so V sub 2 will be equal to the self-inductance times the rate of change of the current caused by this current source with respect to time. So it works exactly the same on the other circuit, but now what would be the voltage across the first inductor? Well, it's going to be equal to the mutual inductance times the rate of change of the current in this circuit with respect to time. So it works across in the other direction as well. Now, when you realize that the mutual inductance here on the second coil or the second inductor caused by what happens on the first circuit, that is going to be equal to this quantity right here. And over here, the mutual inductance on the first inductor caused by what happens on the second circuit, that would be equal to this quantity right here. And it turns out that the number of turns in the first inductor times the rate of change of the flux through this inductor caused by the change in the current over here, that is equal to the number of turns in this inductor times the rate of change of the flux through this inductor with respect to the change in current in the other circuit. And since those are equal to each other, we can then see that the mutual inductance of 2 to 1 is equal to the mutual inductance of 1 to 2, which is equal to just simply the mutual inductance. The mutual inductance is simply the same in both directions, and it's simply the number of turns in the one inductor times the rate of change of the flux of that inductor with respect to the change in the current in the other circuit. And that is the definition of the mutual inductance.